Hey everybody, this is 8-Bit Flashback, and today I'll show you how to get two-player working using BleemSync 0.4.1 in a USB hub on player port 1. And I will be testing four different brands of USB hubs that I can confirm are working, just to give you some options. So I have four different USB hubs here that I can confirm are working, and these are all non-powered hubs. And what I mean by that is there's no external power needed for these, these are just powered by the USB port itself. So this first one here I picked up at Best Buy, and this is a four port USB hub. And I believe this brand is pronounced Insignia, but I might be pronouncing that wrong. And there's a look at the model number on the box, so if you want to pick one of these up, these are at Best Buy, and I think they're right around 14 bucks. This second one I also picked up at Best Buy, and this is a four port USB hub as well. And these are made by Targus, and these are right around that same price, 14 bucks. And if you're interested in get one of these, there's a look at the model number on the box. And I'll try to post some links to these down in the description as well. And for this next one, I picked this one up at Walmart for right around 11 bucks. And as you can see, this is a four port USB hub as well. And there's a look at the model number on the box. And that's pretty much all I can find here locally in town is four port USB hubs. And for this last one, this is actually an old USB hub I have just laying around. This is called the USB Hub Man, and you can probably find these on eBay for under 10 bucks. Now I'm sure there's some other brands of non-powered USB hubs out there that are compatible, but these are the four that I can confirm are working because I've tested all these and they seem to be working great. Okay, let's start with the Insignia, and I'm going to plug this into player port 1, and then plug my controllers into the hub. And really, it doesn't matter which order you plug everything in, you can even plug this in while the system's on. And just to let you know, when I try to use any of these USB hubs on player port 2, along with the flash drive, which contains that BleemSync hack, I ran into a lot of issues. A lot of the games would just freeze, or I'd get black screens, or the system would even reboot. So I recommend using player port 1. And I do have BleemSync 0.4.1 installed on both of these devices. I have a USB flash drive and a micro SD card with a USB reader. And I can use either one of these devices, it doesn't matter. As long as I have BleemSync 0.4.1 running on my PlayStation Classic, then the USB hubs should work. So now I'm going to power up that PlayStation Classic, and just to let you know, I do have RetroArch also installed on this, but you do not need RetroArch to make this work. If you have BleemSync by itself, it should work just fine. And while I'm talking about RetroArch, I did test the USB hub inside RetroArch using the PCSX rearmed emulator for PlayStation and tried a two-player game out, and it did work. So this is compatible with RetroArch, at least with the PCSX rearmed emulator. And as you can see here, player one is working just fine. Let's go ahead and test a two-player game out. This is Mortal Kombat Trilogy, and we'll try the second controller. And it seems to be working just fine. And I did test this out for about 15 minutes while I punched myself back and forth, and I didn't run into any issues. And as I said before, when I tried to test this out on player port 2, I ran into all kinds of issues. I had games freeze up, shut down, my save games weren't working, so I would recommend at this point with BlameSync 0.4.1 to use player port 1. And on top of all the issues when testing on player port 2 with the USB flash drive and the USB hub, I ended up with a flash drive that got corrupted and is no longer working. Now this may or may not be related, but I thought I should bring that up. So what's been working best for me is to keep the USB hub on player port 1 and that flash drive separate on player port 2. Now I'm going to unplug this one and just leave the PlayStation Classic in the on position and we'll try the Targus out. And again, it doesn't seem to matter when you plug in the USB hub, it can be powered on already or it can be powered off, it seems to work either way. So we'll just test that same game out again, Mortal Kombat Trilogy. And player 1 seems to be working just fine. Now we'll grab the second remote and test that and it's working fine as well. And as far as the performance goes, it seems to work just as good as the other USB hub, and I can't really tell any differences. Okay, let's go ahead and try the next USB hub out, and this is the one I got from Walmart for 11 bucks. And I did find out it does matter sometimes which order you plug them in, because sometimes it'll swap player one and player two. And I'll show you what I'm talking about here. So now this is actually player two, and this is player one. But if you want to swap them, you can, but it really doesn't matter. But I'll just swap them to show you. And now this is back to player one. And we're going to keep testing that same game, Mortal Kombat. Player one's working. And player two. Now let's test out the last USB hub, and that's going to be the USB hub man. And when I swap to the USB hub man, my player one and player two got mixed up again. But it doesn't really matter, because I can just put the right controller on the left side, and vice versa. So... I'm just going to leave it alone. Okay, let's go ahead and start Mortal Kombat again, and both controllers seem to be working just fine. And between all four of these USB hubs, I'm not really seeing any differences. They all seem to work the exact same. 
So hopefully this video helped you out if you're looking to play two player games using Blamesync 0.4.1. And as I mentioned earlier, there might be some other USB hubs out there that are compatible. And if you guys know of any that are compatible, please go ahead and leave the model number and make below so we have a list of more compatible hubs. Okay, it's time for me to go. If you could, hit that like button and have yourself a great day. And I'll see you next time.